Do you know if there's a term for something that you watched or was marketed to you that you thought was terrible at the time, so you actively avoided, and then after the fact came back and then realized it was actually really good? There's a term for it. It's German. Called I believe it's Shinerbach? Grace Shiner. Under Fire in it. Wait, hold on. Who thought Grace Under Fire was bad when it was when you saw that commercial come on? I think you're Grace like, thought. Yeah. You're like, if anyone's got a sense of humor, it's Grace. I've been getting into <laughs> Sweet Life of Zack and Cody lately. <laughs> Boat. Zach and Cody could be in a suite, they could be on a boat, they could be anywhere, mm -hmm. and if they wanted to order food, they'd be able to get it with a click of a button using Postmates. Postmates is sponsor of this episode, and they will bring food to wherever you are, they don't care if you're Zach, Cody, or anyone in between, Zach. which would be no one because they're twins. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, we got comments for you, comments we're gonna respond to. My first comment comes from Skilled Headers. It was a wheelhouse video. Um, we didn't expect to play Canadian football, but we did. Not today, but tomorrow. And MNIHD219 on our subreddit said, I'm getting incredibly triggered by James's canphobic attitude. I'll have you know I'm not canphobic at all. Some of my best friend are Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I married a Canadian. Okay. It's like how Robert De Niro can't be racist. Explain. He had a black wife. Oh. I mean, I too had a He black killed her. Yeah, wife. Lawrence is immune. Mm. You're immune. I've tested that and it, it doesn't. How, wait, hold on. How have you tested that? There's one thing that people aren't allowed to do. Okay. And I tried. All right. And it didn't go well. What did you do? Oh, hey, Lawrence. What's up, my name? I'm a big enough person to admit when I'm wrong, so I, on behalf of myself to all of Canada, I'd like to say I'm sorry. <laughs> One time Elise told me a story about like how she was walking and then some car drove by and they like cat called at you, but it was like the most Canadian. Like, oh, where'd you pack the fries? This is from uh, Two in the Ink, Pirates of the Car uh, Caribbean, <laughs> funny moment. I'd love to fuck you. It's a great title. <laughs> That one doesn't um, sound the comment is literally never thought of that. Why don't you just live on a boat thing for Will and Elizabeth? Makes me feel dumb. LOL. Fitting that this comment would be from Big Idiot Dumb Stupid Guy. His, his yeah. username. That's how you're and that. 166 people upvoted it. I thought that's where we all thought when we yeah. saw that. Mm -hmm. when we, yeah. When we, he, it was but there was some underlying context there where he's like, the boat goes under the water with the ghost. Well, he chooses. He's the captain. Yeah, so he's he like, to stay up. He had no choice. Well, he said, I no. need to go on this, I have to be on this boat, that's my lot. Yeah. It's with a bunch of fish dudes. Yeah. But you could it's also hot. just be like, I have decided as the captain to no longer go under the water. Yeah, we can, I can buy a houseboat. She was just like, I really like how grass feels on my feet. She's and he was like, are you dudes. serious? <laughs> you can put grass on a boat. That's what mm. the Chinese did. This next comment is from Smashing Box Moving Out Gameplay. <laughs> oh, I did not see his name. Uh, uh oh, so read it aloud. Wait. Uh, Slip near 818 Slytherin. Oh, Lawrence can oh. read that because he's got a can black wife. And he says, Oof. They made me tear up my card. John got James in a psychological chokehold. Nerd triggered James. Why you gotta shame others who ain't ripped, live, let live? I say. When I die, I won't care for ebbs. Are you speaking backwards? Uh, well that's, I'm very, I was very confused this whole time uh, yeah. because he says that I was fucking with James, but then he took my side afterwards uh -huh. uh, and said that he doesn't want, at, he when I, when I die. But what were you standing up for? I got nerd triggered? Yeah. I don't think I've ever been triggered by anything in my whole life. Oh, anyway. says, so says he. Maybe some like movie oh. details. John, you stand right here. <laughs> stand right, okay. right over here. James, you come stand right over here. Okay. Now, you call. Hold on, let's get let's get a me first measure, an okay. initial measurement to see where I'm at right, All right now. All right, and then you're gonna call him a nerd and we're gonna see his reaction in his what? face. 76. Uh -huh. You nerd. Oh my God, it already went up. <gasps> it's going up. He's having a heart attack. <laughs> Got him. This is from the Try Hard Wizard Cup. Gamer Trill writes, Just me, or does Sad Lawrence look kind of like John Travolta? Mm -hmm. uh, you're not the first person to say that. Apparently it's in the nose. Got a very Travolta-esque nose. Ron Perlman sometimes. Somebody to Starbucks uh, floundered for a bit. And it's weird to have someone be like, Oh, you look like someone. And to have two celebrities, and you have to guess which one that they think you look like. Which is like a version of being like, Well, I am famous and you've probably seen me, but as someone else who's far more famous than me. Can you try something for me? Sure. Can you say, hey, Sandy, as Ron Perlman? <laughs> mm. 
Hey, Sandy. Do his Spanish hey. accent from Kronos. I haven't seen that movie. He went to high school with my dad, and my mom lived on the same street as the goat, the ghost from the subway and ghost. <laughs> Fun story. fact about the movie Ghost, yeah. uh, the evil boyfriend, no the voice of Tarzan. Here. And he got like guillotined by the window? Yeah. Oh, so they get Billy. Those of no. you watching at home, I also don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Go ahead, Adam. Adam. Speaking of John Travolta and the uh, Nobody Needs a New Face Off movie podcast what? for Filmhouse. I already hate the title. I mean, because they're talking about making a remake. Either way, this is from Voice of Man. He said, I've never seen Adam happier than when he's in another man's pants. Comment aside, I just wanted to talk about John Travolta, possibly even brought back for another face off. Remember that scene at the end where he's walking and you like see him through the windows and he's very angelic and he's doing that. We know John Travolta's too busy. We have our own John Travolta here, Ron Perlman, <laughs> to be in <laughs> Face Off 2. I have a long face. There it is, oh, he looks wow. like a dog. I have a comment from the Try Hard Wizard Cup from Rev Ghost. I bet Joel owns that jacket. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. And so, to answer the first part of this comment, he did. <laughs> we brought it he was the only person. Joel doesn't own that jacket. The Part family the Reuben yeah. owns the it's jacket. It's trust, wife owns whatever. That yes. Jacket. Yeah. But we did not provide Joel with any wardrobe <laughs> besides the feet on that shoot. We also didn't um, know he was going to be there. Yeah. There was a follow up that the was a really Joel. good punchline from Fuckstorm420 <laughs> <laughs> that said, Yeah, but what American girl doll did he take it from? <laughs> And I was like, we should hire these two because they're a funnier duo than we are. I'm tired of people making fun of Joel. Joel wow. was the best part of that video. Agreed. Hilarious. We provided him with nothing and yeah. he brought everything. He, we were like, you're playing the commentator. He said, oh, Trampo Bounce Bottom will be my name. We're like, oh, is that something Elise named on the script or whatever? And he's like, what script? This is <laughs> from uh, Ghostbusters Challenge, Good Effort Ladies, Great Google Trends, me. from Chiki Nitsua. Technically, Ghost Rider is in the MCU, but only in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No movies, unfortunately. It's a shame because that show is really good and the Ghost Rider iteration was really neat. Would have loved to have seen them all appear in a movie. Do you have any other opinions that we can't dispute because none of us have an opinion on the matter because we never saw the thing that they're talking about? I'm gonna I say have, no. Have... I'm gonna say that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider was bad. <gasps> and until he returns to the silver screen, we do not have the Ghost Rider that we deserve. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. thinking that it's part of the MCU is like the younger sibling of like a, a friend who's invited to a party thinking they're invited to. Did they ever oh. cameo anyone from MCU, MCU and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. aside from Coulson? Quake. So it was Samuel L. Jackson? Was Quake in any, I yeah, mean, I think. I think Samuel L. Jackson showed up once, but he'll do anything. Yeah, that's the thing, Samuel yeah. L. doesn't count. Speaking of Samuel L. Jackson, I was thinking this weekend about like if they made a Snakes on a Plane 2, <gasps> they should make the tagline Raising the Snakes. Because they're raising, yeah. raising. Uh, This is from Super... No, you're fine. Okay. Hello. This oh, is from yeah. Super Smash Bro Undefeated Funny Moments. Um, Chris Nettleton said, The looks on James and John's faces vastly improved a perfect video to Heavenly. What? Two thumbs up. What Instant face? rewind for replay. Oh, what video? What faces were we making? I don't know. The whole reason I picked this because he said two thumbs up, but also he ended it instant replay, instant rewind for replay. Oh, yeah, was that dictated from like a construction site while someone was driving by? <laughs> well, I thought maybe if people wanted to give a go at what how that's supposed to be pronounced, I think that's oosh. 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 Yeah. oosh. We like, sound like a film critic who's really trying to get on the front of the box and not the back. Maybe I am. That's smart. Yeah, okay. right. Face Maybe Off. It's a movie with John Travolta. That goes on the back. Yeah. John Wombs. John, yeah, John Wombs. John Wombs. John Wombs <laughs> film yet. That's the porn parody of yeah, Face yeah. Off, which is called Close Off. You know what I notice I have a lot in Tell Face me. Off? What? They never had time to eat. Yeah, in that cafeteria, well, they just hit each other with, with trays. Right. They hit each other with trays. Because the food was so bad, yeah. well, they had better food. I, well, yeah. you know what I can tell you what they could do? Even if you're on a prison island in the middle of the San Francisco Bay, I assure, was it San Francisco? Looked like it, yeah. San Francisco Bay? Where did you take it to the rock? The rock, yes. Yeah. Oh. I think it was well, just either way, if you're in a prison island anywhere, don't eat that garbage prison food. Use Postmates, have it delivered right to your door, Sal, door. If you need some red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m., and ibuprofen at 10 a.m., Postmate it. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery service all year round. 
anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the U.S. and offer delivery from all the restaurants, grocery, and convenience stores, and traditional retailers you could possibly ever want or need. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, Postmates will bring you what you need within the hour. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver anything to you. Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery in real time. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our viewers $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use code OPENHOUSE, that's H-A-U-S. So use code OPENHOUSE for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with code OPENHOUSE. Why is Nick Cage the good guy for most of the movie and John Travolta the bad guy? That's just stupid. They should have reversed it. Nick Cage should have started the good guy, been Caster Troy, and then go back to being good, bad guy. Wait, what? No. Please accept this Inverted. award for the Thank perfect you. opinion. Thank you, Face Off 2, John Woo. My DM's John broken. Womb. John Woo. Look at me now, mom and dad. You can't handle my radical liberal thoughts. Socialism forever. I know. Who said that? It sounded like Adam. He's creaking. Saying, I know. Is it the walls? Yeah, I think, I think it might be the. There was rain. Up. Maybe he's recording on the other stage. Oh, I am in Carbonate! Oh, 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 God! Adam! Yeah. Yeah.